Hi, uh, in this visual basic tutorial, I'm going to be using conditional statement to develop a decorator program. So let's start by saving our program first. There's a save. Okay, now let's. The first thing I'll do is just to let me extend this form. Now change the property of this form. Let me increase the form size to about let's make that about uh, 20. That'll be the default font size. So we get the default font size in place. Let's make that about 20 followed by labels for my in the program so the first thing here let's give the let's enter heading for the program itself so that will be called interior decorator interior decorator There. So I will increase the font size of that because it's the heading. Let's make that maybe 28. That's cool. And now uh, here would be my let's say height of the room. That's a label for the room followed by length of the room length of all four walls sorry as the length of all four walls there and now I will need the total of the total area of the rooms I need three text box three text boxes for as the input to as out as the input and this text box let's change the font size to yeah that's fine it's 20 anyway default the default font so I need three of those two and three then um, the user will be given an option so let's put that there so we have the total uh, let me use a group box to select an option for the for my user to give them a choice sorry so the choice would be let's say they have choice of three of three pins right there so that's for my user and uh, this group box within it I'm going to add uh, let's say three radio buttons one two and three this will be called economy and followed by standard followed by not zeros good so those are my radio buttons in place okay so what I would then do is let me get one command button and one extra label as my output one control one button one label okay those will be the button will actually be my trigger function so let's come in here and call it uh, maybe total and this that is where the result we actually 
appears so let me show, change the allow auto size to force back color let me make that white yeah that looks that looks white and uh, the border style make that 3d good it's sort of like look a little bit like a, a text box but it is a label so let's move this we're gonna move this somewhere maybe move these guys nearer and get this our checkbox put that there good and there it is guys we have our system in place all I just need to do now is to code the whole system so using conditional statement so let's move it all down a little bit more just to give it a better appearance move this in a little bit okay so the whole idea is these three option box will be a uh, calculation will actually be based on these three op uh, option, bo option box or radio buttons sorry so the first thing is let's declare a constant up here the constant will be leisure equals 1.75 then uh, followed by standard standard is uh, zero zero um, let me just change this to two and this is 1.75 1.75 and this is that is it that's for the economy now within the command button let's double click on the command button the command button we have to do all the necessary okay so the first thing is using an if statement if as radio button one which is right there that's for leisure dot check dot check equals true then we have our fourth label that's it right there the fourth label oh no I think it's the fifth label dot text equals we want to add up the value in text box maybe I should go by value by value text box one which is right here dot text multiply because we are actually multiplying the area we want to find the area so if you still remember your secondary school formula length times breadth okay that's for the area but we now want to multiply now let's come back here and say whatever we get in here we need to now add multiply the whole answer here so let's use a variable here dim Q and dim P as integer. Okay, we have those as integers. So Q right here. Let me just cut this off. Q goes in there. Now we now want we want the value in in Q to be multiplied by this value right there so we say p equals p equals q 
cube multiply by leisure all right add that together then plus q which is right there then we put that there equals p so leisure is multiplied by our total right here and the total that we got before is added to leisure which is then entered into p and p is then allocated to level five so if i run this program right now maybe i should just let me just complete it there's no point but running it right now let's just complete it because all that is left is just uh, x else if else if this is really bought in two all right so this becomes standard else if this become economy right here yeah that's it economy let's copy that i need to change there's a mistake here yeah that's fine this becomes economy paste so it changes to three and this two oh sorry this is still one well, yeah yeah that's fine mm -hmm. this is three so guys when you look at it the whole idea here is if radio button one is selected this is what's going to happen all of these calculations right there will happen okay which means leisure is two pound 70 uh, sorry it's two pounds 75 that's correct and if you select standard it becomes one pound seven five right here if you select economy it becomes one pound fifty so if I run the program let's say I run the program right now okay I enter whatever value in there that's the room okay so the height the height of the room let's say maybe 12 and uh, we select that gives us uh, 315 let's say standard that gives us two that's one if we select economy that's what we get now we need to now enter the value of this to get the area this and this to get the total area because the total area is different from the total itself so let's find the total area so the total area should officially go into I think this is textbook 3 right that's textbook 3 double click on that and just uh, all I need to do is just come in here now I need this value because this multiplied by this gives me that so put that in there equals uh, dot text equals Q so we got equals Q as for the total area of whatever we're dealing with yep the same thing here the same thing here and that is all guys so let's run this program one more time run the program so we'll run the program now we have our height right there the length of the wall okay we select leisure or standard any of the above so we get the length and that that's the total area and that's the course okay see that's how it's done guys see how easy it is we've achieved this using what is known as conditional statement 
So I'm going to call it a day now. Thanks and you all have a nice day now.